We are surrounded by water here on the Sunshine Coast. If somebody gets stuck in a rip and they feel like they can't get back in, what is the best way to get out of a rip? Probably be to swim, swim sideways because the rip's coming like this and then you're going... So it's going across side. the beach? Yeah, and then yeah. if you yeah. swim sideways, you'll, you'll get out of it. Because yeah. me okay. and Xander have been stuck in rips before and we just swim out of it and we got out of it. And okay. that's it. So those who don't yep. know, a rip is where essentially the, the water that it comes in from the waves of the beach has to make its way back out. Mm. And when it gathers in a particular area because it channels out through the sand at the bottom, it builds momentum. So you've actually got a strong section of water that's continuously rushing back out to sea that you can get caught in. And all of a sudden you can be standing in two metres of water and next thing you're 20 metres away. Yeah. And the next thing you can continue and that which point you can't fight against it, you're struggling to get in, and then you fatigue and drown. Yeah. And that's the scary thing. The biggest number of people and fatalities that happen to this are boys, are men between the ages of 15 and 35. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good a swimmer you are, you've got to be careful. Yeah.